<laughs> that is good, good banter. banter. And we are away, Timmy Sarge. Let's we hit it. We are off to the races. Hello, Yo. everyone, and welcome to episode 65, 65. of the, the Good Banter Podcast. And it is, what what an episode we have coming up. Well we done, are, mate. Well done. What Comedy have we done? festival, mate. Comedy festival. We, we did, did it. it. We did it. It was a big build-up for only four shows, but we <laughs> got there. Wow. We, and I've got to tell you, what a what a pleasure it was to meet so many of the good banter listeners. Because I've got to tell you, sometimes when you like with a gig, with a comedy gig, you do the gig, and you as you're telling the jokes, you can you can look the people in the eye, and you see the reactions, and you know they're into it. She's not into it. He likes it. She hates it. me. He thinks I'm a knob. She She's wishes she was elsewhere. Dead. But, but with a podcast, because it's, in, it's instant feedback. With a podcast, yes, we just sort of talk into that fucking microphone you know, down there, you go. and then I walk out and I assume you do something. I've never actually yeah. asked what you do, and then it appears twenty four hours later on. Spotify podcast or app or Apple, Apple or whatever, whatever, whatever it is, it goes onto the YouTube, which is fucking fine. And besides the odd, uh, the odd, the odd call, the odd email you get through, you don't really know who's out there listening. Is is, is, is anyone listening? Is it is it just shooting off into the stratosphere? Ether, yeah, or yeah. what? But now we have gone out. And we've seen people we've in seen person, hu- flesh and human blood, human beings. And and mate, thank you to. All the yeah, the good banter listeners who did come, they came up after the show, and and it, I must admit, if I met someone after the show and uh, they said, "Oh, I listened to the podcast," I just thought, "Oh, they must know you." So I said, "Oh, do, do you know Tommy? How do you know Tommy?" They said, "No, nah, no, nah, I don't know Tommy. I don't know you." I said, "How did you get how onto this get fucking to pile of blows shit?" Blows my fucking mind. <laughs> I was people. expecting. And I've got to tell you, I was expecting if anyone did, because you, you'd pump it up at the end of each podcast. You'd be like, make sure you you get down and see the show and you tell them where to get their tickets. And I was deep down, I was going, Evan, what are you doing? Shut the fuck up, mate. You're, you're wasting our time. Mm. You're wasting everyone's time. No one's going to do that. And sure enough, they turned up in their fucking droves. They turned up, mate. They turned and up. Not and-, only, and I thought if anyone did turn up, I was expecting fucking half nuffies and just absolute spirits. Buds, but yeah, they were pretty switched they on. Were good, Everyone they was were switched good on. People. They, they were, were good people. quality people. They had mates, which was good, and everyone, you know, they had beautiful girlfriends and wives. A couple and even they, had a wife. Had, I was like, they had lives. A guy with a wife and a job is listening to the listening Good Band of podcast, podcast, which is fucking mind blowing. <laughs> it's but, crazy. Uh, anyway, it's thanks for coming out. And so, yeah, so do we did do we do the Cheerios now? Uh, the... well, I will save them to the end. Save okay. them to the end because we had some bloody rippers. But uh... oh, I will say one person I met at the uh, at the show. I think it was show three. So that's the Saturday. That's the Saturday, which was my worst show. My, no I reckon it, it was my quietest show as well. Um, it was for you, me, you go, you for go me it was yours. the only show that uh, that wasn't really a. A full house or very close yeah, right to right it. Champ. It was right a, it was a it was a smaller crowd, and one thing that was really going well at the uh, the the shows was was getting some real good banter, some real some good, good real good crowd work. People, people seem to love the crowd work, and I had a, a, a few good questions. I was asking people what their dream job nice was. Beanie. Nice beanie, just by found the way, at the back mate. of my um, US. Oh, JSE. It's a mate's, uh, a good mate I used to play footy with. He started up a brand. Uh, it's John Street Elite. Okay, um, where's John Street? It, it must be in South Australia. So uh, it's John Street. Oh, I used to go to Kinder on John Street um, okay. in Moorabark, and there's no, nothing to lead about that. that shit. No, no. So yeah, so he um, started up a started up a bit of a brand, and it was going gangbusters at one stage. And he was at, a, I think, so the story goes, he was at a pub in Saint at uh, Richmond having a few having a few brews, and a few of the Richmond boys were down there. So yep. he fucking quickly ducked yeah. home, grabbed Grab some T-shirts boys. and grabbed grab some Adelaide. beanies. No, no, he was, he was living in Melbourne. Oh, that's that's where I met him, playing footy. Yep. Um, ripping bloke, and um, and he's gone, and, and he's gone and, he's, and given them to him, and they, they've loved it. Yep. They, they've spread the good word, and it became a real um, a real thing. Uh, got a bit of a cult following. Yeah, Bruce Kane was his name. Really, really good. Kaney. 
Gainey. And then, um, but he, he just announced recently he was um, shutting up shop with John Street a lot, which is a shame because he uh, yeah. he still would have sold a lot. He had great stuff. He's got a little NFL sign there. Yeah, and, uh, and it's like it looks like a fishing hook on the side. Is he a fisherman? Or? Uh, I don't know. I don't just, know what was going on with that. But, um, yeah, we all bought his stuff, and it was good times. But uh, anyway, so... So the, it was great crowd work. It was just some some really really good stuff going on. And then, uh, but but this Saturday night, and, and the venue, they're right, they're right there, aren't right they? You there. could almost touch them. Like they could almost reach up. They could touch you on the groin if they wanted. Oh, no one had even you know bat an eyelid to be like you're just right on top of them. Great like, room, like Eddie had, like Eddie had. That's yeah. right, like a comedy version of Eddie had, and um, better. better than Eddie had. And anyway, so great. I've had two nights of, of great crowd work. Come to the Saturday night, and I knew everyone in the front two rows. And you don't want that. No, you don't want that. Because I, I said to my mates, mate, come along. Yeah, fantastic. Love you to come along. But Go sit at the back. Sit in the back. Don't sit don't in the front sit up two the front, rows. You dickhead. But, but, but there's a guy, uh, Maury, was sort of telling people where to sit, and I think they get a bit nervous. They just sort of do what they're told. Oh, oh they see the first seat, and they go, oh, yeah, I'll sit there. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. They so, get a bit anxious. So I knew so, – so, so, because the lights are on, the the room's dark. All you can see is the front two rows, and yep. maybe a little bit of the third. A little bit of the third. If you had your sun visor on, you could see a bit further. Yeah. Or if they were or in a white shirt, white you could shirt. see them. Yes. Um, but anyway, so it wasn't going. The, the the crowd work wasn't going well because I knew everyone, but yeah. there was one bike. What do you one do? Uh, I know what you yeah, do. Yeah, I know what I you work, do. I work. You, I work you, with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I do saw the same you today. Thing I do. You yeah. So but there was one bloke. He was my only hope. One bloke sitting. So I knew everyone in the front two yeah. slash three lines. Yep. One so bloke. Knew him. He was my only him, hope. So I said to him, mate. Rooted his wife. I said, I knew mate, everyone. what are you, uh, what's your dream job? Because that was one of the questions. And it was getting some good, some good reactions. I said, mate, what's your dream job? It led into a, led into a joke that I, that I do. Mate, what's your dream job? And he, he just said, mate, I don't know, but I, I think you know me. And I go, <laughs> And you're looking at okay. him. Okay. Like, I? I, I don't think I know him. And I said, who, no, oh, mate, I'm sorry. I've got a bad memory. Who Who are you? And he said, you might know me as Big D. Big D. And it was D. Big D. The fuck checker. The fuck checker. Big D. And, oh, mate, how good was it to see Big D? Oh, see him. The, the man, the legend, the myth. Uh, uh, partner. Oh, sorry, I've, forgot, I've forgotten her name. I've forgotten her name. But, mate, thanks for coming out. But, mate, you could have uh, given me the heads up. Mind you, I could have worked it out by his nickname. But Big D's a big unit. He could. Mate. Uh, I've been hanging shit on him for 64 episodes. He could. Punch my head off, I'd say, Mate, I'll be deep. But he didn't seem like that kind of guy. Mate, he's very, he's very uh, gentle, but yeah. I reckon that if the white line fever kicked in and uh, he really, you know, I mean, he, 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 t- he can take a joke, Big D. And, uh, I hope so. Cause, yeah, uh, but uh, we got him the old Vuco socks, which yeah. uh, I'm, I'm wearing here, and he, uh, he loves them. He, good uh, sock, good elasticity up the top. Mate, they're great. They're, they're definitely a sock that you, you're not wanking into these. You're definitely just Oh, wearing, no. You can't no. waste them by well, wanking. Well, they're black. You don't wank into a black sock. You never do that. It's not it's, a good uh, look. You've wanking 101. Go wanking 101, that one. Yep, not into the black socks. So, but, uh, Big D, he's, mate, a, he's a good guy, and I'm not, mate, cut and paste all you want. You're a big unit. I couldn't, I'm not going to hang shit on you anymore. You're a fucking, mate, I don't, just, I, you're a good, you're a good man, Big D, and thanks for supporting the show, and thanks for coming out and see the show. That's it, and I do have some uh, fucks to check later on. From, from Big, big D? D? From Big okay. D, and uh, I'm catching up with him this Saturday. I'm going to watch my brother down at Louisdale, because he's, he's pulled the boots on for Moorlbark. Yep. And uh, Big D's heading down there. So I'm going to catch up with him and, uh, yeah, we're going to rip, rip shit on you, Tommy. Do, so. a bit of, do a bit of fuck checking. Do a bit of fuck checking. Yeah, uh, how many goals did Heath Hocking kick? Uh, none. Zero. So that's, that's a good fucked. Zero. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, the big D, it's, it's great. And that, wasn't it good, like, uh, you know, we had, we had a few come out. Like, imagine if this really blows up. If this really, the, the good banter podcast just gets massive. Like, imagine if we had, say, 200 just good banter listeners in a room. Yep. Just, just, how good would that be? Oh, it'd be, it'd be unbelievable. Be well, we, we talked about that with the guys. We from, did. Um, yeah. The Baronia, the Baronia boys. boys. So they were sitting. Um, and that was Sunday. They were Sunday, and they the were matinee. just the mat the matinee. That was it was it was oh, probably I love perfect. A Sunday gig. Oh, it's great! It's fucking good because uh, I think it's really suited the footballers. The Sunday they they played on the Saturday. They had the Monday they off. They couldn't come on the Friday because they they're getting. Although a lot of these Baroni boys who are still, I, I don't. It wouldn't have. 
they would have still got on. It wouldn't have worried them if they had got shit faced on the Friday. No, they didn't seem like uh, they were. They were really doing that. They, they went. They went eating your pastas and um, and hydrating the night before. But, no, uh, no, but but. How I first met the uh, the Baronia boys, they there was there was a good, a good band to go on with them. You could just tell they were good fun, yep. and I reckon the crowd was enjoying their shit. Them, them, because there was one bloke that looked a bit like me, and he had a bald head, <laughs> and um, and so he, he was he was good fun. And and I said to him, mate, and he had a mustache. Yep. And I said, mate, we're very similar. We got the bald head. I've I've often thought about going the mustache, but now seeing it on you, I'm I'm definitely going to give it a wide berth. And <laughs> And that got a big laugh, and he was a, he was laughing. He had a great smile, and that was good time. So I thought these guys can really take a joke. And I said, "What's the?" I started doing. What's the dumbest thing you've done while drunk? Cause I, I was telling you about this night. Uh, we, I'd had a few beers because I, I was pretty relaxed. Uh, were you telling me Sunday? Were you? Uh, maybe. Yeah, so it was in my show. I said, "All right, anyone yep. here? What's the dumbest thing you've done while drunk?" And I it led into a joke, and I've, I've asked a few people around, and one of the Baronia boys. Oh, actually, he didn't stick his hand up. His mate to a point that him. They, were, they, they did. They dobbed each other they in. They didn't mind they throwing. Did. They love under a throwing bus, each yeah. other under the bus. Good mates, but um, there'd be no good in the trenches, the no, boys, I reckon. Too. But uh, throw each other under the bus pretty quick. So I said, so I said, all right, mate, your mate seemed to want me to ask you, what's the dumbest thing? And he was pretty proud. He said he was at the footy club and he got, from what I could make out, it was, it was sort of a flat uh, surface, not a carpeted surface, not tiles, maybe. A, uh, like the floorboards. Wooden, nah, maybe maybe a plastic. What's a plastic sort of? Anyway, it's a flat surface. Is it a it's footy club? Surface. Is it the ground? No, no, it's in the rooms. Oh, it's, um, it's not like this. Shit, like, is it? Nah, it's like not rubber. So, so something that'd be so. Anyway, he's put. I think he's put washing detergent on it. Oh yeah. So, yeah. so, so it must be. Fuck. What's the name? It's a synthetic oh. product. Uh, not like uh, vinyl. 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 So it's a vinyl, vinyl. floor, which vinyl. I think you'd find in most club maybe room vinyl. kitchens. Maybe, uh, maybe footy club kitchens. Maybe even in the. Yeah, I think it's just the stuff they put it on on the concrete. They get that bloody the glue or whatever, and yep. they get the vinyl down, the vinyl layers and the the old uh, old floor floor layers. They're bloody. They're they're rough nuts. No. They're rough nuts. Very. They're, um, uh, they're animals. They're they're probably good band of listeners. That'd be good band. The old listeners. vinyl layers. Yeah, so, so very good. Um, very forgiving flooring for a footy club. Like you oh. could be win the flag, hurl and shit at each other, Spew, piss in their pants, vomit. Next morning, shit. hose it out. Bob's your uncle. It's That's ready it. for the. Uh, for, for, for the G- cricket season. Or for Janina's bloody, uh, what, what does Janina do? I'm thinking like a f- oh, yoga class on the Monday morning because oh. a lot of them are double up. And, and, yeah. and, and they would come in, do the yoga, Monday morning, unaware of the And everyone would be sticking the, the, sticking the, sticking the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Janina would be doing the downward dog. and No, I'm and, thinking she's not sticking to the floor because it's very forgiving and they've yeah, cleaned it up. Still, how, how bad are you? How good are you cleaning it up? That's a good point. But anyway, yeah. I know what you mean. I did. Well, I don't think I do. Anyway, so so this shit wreck <laughs> from Baronia, so he's telling this story, and the whole crowd's really it's silence. It's, isn't it great? He's got the stage. He's got the he's stage. Got the, he's got the mic. Well, he hasn't got the mic, but everyone's listening. Yeah, don't and, give um, the, don't anyone give in the crowd the mic. The mic. No, they won't get the mic. That's a no-no. So, and he said he's laid. He's got the vinyl. He's laid out the uh, washing detergent. Yep. And he's, I think he's come in for the big slip and slide. Yes. I'm, I'm thinking... Uh, I'm, and I'm painting my own picture here. We didn't go into that much detail, but I'm thinking jocks. Thinking probably jocks. I'm thinking jocks. Footy shorts, everything maybe. Off, maybe footy shorts. And I did ask him. I said, well, "What time are we talking here? Is he? Is it midnight? Is it?" And he said it was around eight. Some p.m. p.m. So on a Saturday night. Saturday night. So there's probably still a lot of people in the room at yeah, eight, eight, yeah, uh, eight p.m. So I guess if he had an early start, okay. and what he thought was acceptable and funny may not have been. So with like uh, someone who had their kids there, for yeah, example, or wives, or and wives girlfriends, and the sponsors, and sponsors aren't uh, too happy about that kind of stuff. Yeah, but um, anyway, so he's come in, done the run up, and just fucking knocked himself out, out cold. What he's gone into the wall? He's just he's got he's hit it because I know sometimes if you. Uh, on a thing like that, you'd sort of bounce on your stomach, your chin hits the ground. Yeah, I think maybe. I'm thinking sort of a dive. He was picturing both hands out and sort of slide in with both hands together and keeping his head up. Head up. Maybe he underestimated the power, the weight of his head. Maybe not enough detergent. Or strengthen his 
No, I think too much to Ted. And he's just oh. he's just fucking flowing. Head, just natural gravity's taking his head down, smack, and I don't care if he's dead. You've got to laugh at that. If you're his oh, mates I reckon, and you see that. I reckon it's funnier if he dies. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's a lot funnier. Just picture a little uh, testimonial of him up on the wall. Yeah, like uh, you'd have like the, the cross and the flowers and the bourbon cans and the, and the darts. And the v- empty VB stubbies just and just every night and maybe and maybe just, what they could do they could do like like chop his head off and have it coming out of the wall like the moose head. Okay, yeah, like they that could do the that. I've got to tell you, it wasn't a great head though. I don't think you want that hanging okay, out there. Okay, so that, that's probably dragging sponsors away from the club. Yeah, and maybe once a year, not unlike the uh, what's that thing they do uh, the, at Melbourne Collingwood the 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 freeze the oh big the freeze. big freeze big freeze once a year they could have they could do the, like a slip and slide the big detergent at Baronia a big slip and slide through the rooms to raise money for families of other fuckwits that have died doing, um, doing slip and slides stupid shit doing yeah. dodge, I guess any maybe they call it the big fuckwit the big fuckwit <laughs> the big fuckwit <laughs> all right let's let's get the most <laughs> fucked up units to come in we'll buy three liters. Four litres, ten litres of washing detergent. Just cover we'll clear the floors everyone of the Baronia out. footy club. And just fucking go for and it. And everyone donate. They could, I reckon, look, maybe not Channel 7, but I reckon Channel 10 or 9 could get behind this and really make it a big thing. Maybe Sportsbet could get down there. Sportsbet. start could, running bets on who's going to be the biggest fuckwit. Well, funny you say that because my mate Hammy, who's, saw Hammy. who does a lot for Sportsbet. Good to bet, see Hammy. And, uh, and he was at that show. And I went out and talked to the Baronia boys straight after. I said, "Oh, mate, you're the you're the fuckwit that uh, slid across the floor and knocked which, yourself." Which one at... was it? He was the. Uh... So I, I, I can't remember all their names. He sort of had a round head. Well, they fucking there was Maybe, about three bald blokes. They were three, he wasn't heads. bald. He had hair. Oh, he, he wasn't, wasn't the bald. tall bloke with the oh, fucked wasn't, finger. It wasn't uh, the, the younger bloke who was a bit more of the ultimate Resi's footballer. Yeah, I reckon he had a bit of Rezzy's about him. Ultimate Rezzy. Sorry, we can't remember your name, big fella. Yeah, yeah, but but, uh, um, you're a legend in our eyes. And I actually, and Hammy was there, right? Hammy said, Oh, mate, thanks for the tickets. We've got a bar. We're going on another show. No worries. And I said, Oh, I said, Hammy, these these are the guys from Baronia. And Hammy, this is uh, the guy. I said, Baronia boys, this is Hammy from Sportsbet. And they all knew him. They're all punters and they all watch the Sportsbet videos. And they are Hammy. Hammy's their hero. And Hammy goes, Oh, Looked at the bloke, the slip and slide, fuck stick, and he goes, oh, big fan of your work, mate, big fan of your work. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's already getting a bit of a name for himself out there, although we don't know his name, but nah, I'm sure. I, I, I got all the names I introduced after the show, but bloody hell, my memory's shit out, so. Mate, the positive yeah. was they were blind. One of Blake's actually was, there were two twins. One was, I was that looked like me. Yep. The other one could barely fucking string a sentence together. Um, <laughs> so he was, I'm pretty sure... They're not Nick. I think that was yeah. Nico. Nico. Nico was pretty. They're fucked, not. Yeah. They're not pulling us up on details of the night because oh, like, they were going so. out after that. I would. Yeah, yeah. I they're they're say, still not home. They're still not. They're home, a bit the sketchy. Boys. They're still a bit sketchy. They're a bit sketchy. So that's themselves. great. So uh, anyway, so that was the. Uh, oh fuck! One more thing. Yeah, keep going, so, mate. I'm, I'm loving pi- this because I've got this in the. I'm picturing the the room. I'm picturing the rooms. So. So, did a gig at the Basin, and funnily enough, Basin, where I did the gig on on Saturday, Saturday. afternoon, were playing Baronia. Fucking Crazy. small world. Mate, small it's, world. It's and tiny. I saw, and I took a photo. How's this? I took a photo of myself. Of course you did. Of you like, like a little selfie with the two teams lined up behind me for Anzac Day. Yep. And the boys that we met at Baronia were in the fucking photo in the background. Mate, what are the odds of that? Very slim, I would have thought. Oh, I reckon very get slim. On sports bet, mate. Yeah, Once again, again, very slim. Hammy, what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? So, so anyway, I'm doing this uh, gig at the Basin, which was a draw between uh, the Jesus. Basin and Baronia. Just a, a good go Good there. So they've got me slouch. down there for their luncheon, and I was as as you do, you get down there, you're talking to the present, you're talking to the organizer, rah rah, and and I said, is there anyone in the room I sh- you want me to? Any sponsors you want me to talk to? And to mention, I said, not really, but that couple over there. And I looked over there, and there was a couple sitting at this table, and they would have been one hundred and twenty. They, they could have been ninety. They Jesus. were in, in their nineties. They were an uh, definitely an older couple, older couple, an older couple. His hearing probably wasn't great, but lovely couple. I went and said hi, and, and he didn't hear you. He didn't hear me. Uh, but get this, bro. Uh, basin. Basin. You're at the, the basin. basin. I'm at the basin. Remember, you're at the, the basin. basin okay. club. 
This old couple, lovely couple, lived in the area the whole Old lives, I assume, have walked in and said, we'd like to sponsor the club. Yeah, fantastic. So, you know, what, you know, 200 bucks a week. We're always looking for sponsors. Do you, do you want to sponsor a player? Because that's 300. You can get a golden package for yeah, 500. We'll give you a shitty hat. We'll uh, give you a jacket yep. and a polo top. About $8 You'll... worth of merch for your yeah, 500 bucks. There you go. We'll give you, uh, at, at Caulfield, we call them bear bucks, where it's, uh, where they might give you 200 bear bucks, which actually street value is about set, maybe 30 bucks. But because um, yeah. of the markup well, and so forth, they useless. said, oh, we'd like to donate $1 million. One million dollars. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say that because they they had a big picture up on the wall of them. Like, like yeah. they, they, and they had the golden handshake. They had was it a big? Did they hand the check? Was it like one of the Happy Gilmore or no, the big novelty I, checks? No, they just seemed to. No, it was just a just a bank we'll, transfer. We'll, we'll transfer the cash. And, it wasn't uh, like a suitcase, like just full of cash. It wasn't like no. my country road bag full of a million dollars. No, he's better than that. He's okay. better than that. He hasn't <laughs> got a country right. road bag. Nah, but um, he wouldn't. But how's that? What footy club on the planet wouldn't be excited about? One you million. You would just think, you're taking the piss, guys. Yeah. So what, the did did the Basin go out, spend, did they win the premiership? Did they blow it on all shit trucks from, um, you know, XVFL, XAFL? No, I, I believe. Or did they think maybe with this $1 million, we'll bloody use it wisely, we'll redo the rooms, we'll, um, you know, uh, redo the surface? What did they do? I think they might have uh, done done a little something to the rooms. The mm. rooms were looking pretty schmick. Apparently, nice. the basin was a was a toilet. Oh, it was a fucking not, shit uh, hole. Not they they ago, had some so. of the worst away rooms. I played there in like '99, and I'm yep. sure things have changed since then. But oh yeah, that, no, that were good. You they could were not uh, swing a. Cat. I would even go. You wouldn't be able to swing a squirrel in there. Squirrel? Like, are they smaller than cats? Probably exactly the same size. Okay, you couldn't swing a rat. A rat? Rats are small. No. But there would have been rats. Mouse. Oh, they were so rats. Probably could have they were gnawing at uh, my, my, my little uh, footy bag. Don't so worry that's, about that. Uh, so that's all interesting stuff. But I uh, made enough great, about me. Bears. Jeepers, creepers. Um, yeah. oh, what, cooking, uh, we're cooking. 20 minutes in. We haven't even touched the sides. We haven't. And, and I never u- d- usually do touch the sides no. with other stuff as well. So just a little fella. But uh, anyway, that's. Uh, <laughs> What are we talking are we? about? That? Where are we? All right. So, mate, well, what, what I had to do, because we were speaking of the Baronia boys. Yep. And they said, fellas, you've got, you've got about 35 different stories happening. You're like, yep. you know, we had to finish early last week, which once again, something I usually do. And, and I'll tell you what, fuck, what do we, we normally do an hour. We did about 40 minutes and we got, had fucking complaints. Yes, people. Uh, I got a message on the Instagram saying that uh, I, I look forward to the hour because I, I I listen to it on the way to work or I'm driving me rotary hoe or me combine harvester. I need that hour to um, really. Or shearing a sheep. It was the shearing sheep. Shearing a sheep. Who was it? Who was it? It's buddy. a bloody sheep crew. The bloody oh, the sheep touches up in Shitter's Ditch that are. Which, which, although it was, you know, you never like to get a negative email, but it just remind us again that people are actually people. fucking listening to this shit. I know. It's just I, mind it blowing. It blows my mind. But maybe. I think we've found our crowd, though. Maybe there's I other think. people out there that just aren't into politics and aren't into. Well, politics, it's no, it's no bloody good. If you don't know, ah, fuck, I don't know where this is. But, yes, uh, uh, one of the boys shearing the sheep said. So, uh, apologies. We'll try and get an hour we're going show. We're a bit longer. Yeah, we're we'll try and get longer. an hour show. We'll get through it. So, anyway, where we left it last week at 37 minutes was, because uh, we didn't have time. We're going down to the Conti, and I was. I just got off the plane in the Gold Coast. I think it was at a point where everyone knew I was staying at the Backpackers. Yep. So, this is going to be shit. This is going to be shit. So I turn up, I get, uh, I think I got a cab. I got a cab. Taxi? A taxi okay. from uh, Rock Up on the Gold Coast. Again, so, just more money getting taken away from this. More cash. More more money eating into the profits of this horrendous shit show of a tour you're doing. That's right. Uh, but, and let's, one gig's not a tour. It's a fucking one gig. One gig's not a tour. One gig, that's just like. Um, it's a gig. It's a gig. It's a gig on the Gold Coast. It is a um, in and out, in and out. So it's uh, like having sex with one person once, and, and then leaving in the morning, or no, like organising an orgy. Oh, one person turns up and you sleep with them, and still telling everyone you had an orgy. Well, it's probably it's probably the way this worked out. It was me organising an orgy 
no one turns up and I just pull myself into a sock or something. Okay, The yeah. way this is going. Yeah, this is... Do you reckon it's this is sort a real, of like that? Yeah, yep, yep. yep. No, that's a good call. Okay, she's a, a uh, call. she's a fair old cum sock of a two of this one. She's, <laughs> oh, she is a, she's blowing into she the old hoop sock. She's a sock. Don't this worry about awful. that. So here we go. Anyway. So I turn up. you got check-ins at two. So I'm thinking, I get there about... 10 to 2, and I'm looking at this joint. Like, and this isn't even a classy backpack. It's, this is this is this is like the pits. It looks like um, it, it just was um, just shitty brick buildings. Okay. There was uh, – Where is it? Right in surfers? It's like – from where the gig was right in well, – where is right in – oh, Caval Avenue. Caval Avenue. It was probably a 20-minute walk. Okay. I'd say Melba's. Melba's is oh, Cavalav. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, I, I went to, yeah, I got shit faced at Melba's on a footy trip. Oh, mm. God, I got a bit of trouble there. But uh, so I pull up, and I've, I've, there's a sign on the door saying, um, "If you're here to check in, you got to ring reception. You got to ring reception." So okay. forty year old Evo looks in, and he can sort of he's looking over the top, and all he can see is twenty year old, eighteen, twenty year old. To go, this is shit. This, this is, is no well, it's good if you're a pervert, but I'm not. You're not. I'm not. So I ring the bloke. I said, G'day, mate. I'm about to check in. Uh, can you come out and get me? And he goes, no worries, mate. And I think he, he he opens the gate and I think he was expecting to see, uh, you know, a little uh, 18-year-old bloody Aussie bloke with a surfboard and hope and dreams in his eyes and he just yeah. sees a 40-year-old fuckwit. Whether he's on his fucking Zimmer frame has, or whatever it is. Quit. Quit on life, holding yep. his fucking mic stand, and is uh, Zimmer frame is that it? Yeah, Zimmer, Zimmer, I think those, Zimmer frame. Yeah, Zimmer yeah. frame or or a um, electric wheelchair. Just, yeah, yeah, just, just putting down the road. street. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. So he opens up, he gives me a weird look, and uh, he goes, oh, g'day, mate, how you going? I said, yeah, mate, just uh, here to check in. He goes, sure, you got the right place? I said, yep, this is it, buddy. So he would have just thought he might. Because he's been in the business for a while. He was a, a bit while. old as well, though. I reckon he well, must he have been. Well, he fucking works here. Yeah. Well, you reckon they sack everyone when they turn 21? Well, I reckon they should. I reckon they should. Like, is there something dodgy about the old guy? who He, he might have been 32, 35. I mean, he, he was looking pretty old. I oh, mean, he's, he's, something he's doing said something for the, bar dodgy. T- the forever young bartender or guy that works at a backpackers that just he's thought, look, look. And and the, there was a guy that worked at the bar at the Hotel Barclay, this Austrian bloke, great guy. Yep. And he's he, he was sort of early 40s and he'd clearly made a decision, and maybe this bloke had to, he's I'm going to grow up. I'm going to sacrifice my career and any chance of owning a house, any chance of having any decent superannuation to or try and, life savings to, try and to sleep with as, as many young women <laughs> as possible. Like, and maybe... Th- he, and he's weighed up and he's gone, you know what? I don't need superannuation. I no. don't need a house. No. Well, it's I very smart need... now with COVID because a lot of people took it out. So who's laughing? Like, he's do you reckon, laughing. Do you reckon he wrote that in year – do you reckon he finished year 12? No. Do you reckon he – okay, so maybe year 10, what do you want to be when you're older? I just want to be a predator at a mm. backpackers. Because he knows all the moves. You, you see him all the time. The, guy, the older bloke at the backpackers or the, the bar that's just forever young. Well, it's like the people who run the nightclub tours over in Amsterdam and yep. things like that. Like, I, I, we, when we were over there, there was a dude who was running the, and every night they had to like hustle. It was like hustling to get people into your gig. So he had to go during the day and go, Oh, I'm running this tour, you know, from two, you know, yep, from yep, two yep. o'clock in the Arvo. He's just woken up at one. He's hung over. He feels like shit. And he's like, come to this, do that. And you got to meet at the bar. And then he takes people around. And he just gets them fucking shit faced. Yeah, what a gig. So, great gig, but it's uh, life expectancy can't be that great. I'm pretty sure that bloke's dead. And 99% of people would do that for three or four years, have the time of their life, and then just go, you know what? I'm twenty. I'm twenty five. I'm too old for this. But there's that one percent that just says, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this. This is for me. Yeah, this, this is, is me. my life. This is my life, and I l- fucking love it. Oh, I love it. I yeah. love and look, it. Who, who are we to judge? Who are we to judge? Well, I'm just checking in, so I, I'm not here to judge anyone because I'm. Uh, so I, I check in. I said, "Oh, Evan Hocking." And originally, I was staying till Monday. I said, "Mate, I can only stay the one day." And he looked down and said, "Evan Hocking," and underneath it said, "Predator." And I'm like, "Whoa, that's yep. no good." But uh, he said, "All right, mate." And some little young Asian girl walks <laughs> in, and I'm um, yeah, she, me. She, she was about. 15 or something yep. like that. No, they so, do look young. Yeah, they do look young. They've got great skin. 
and uh, he said, oh, can you show Evan to his room? Now, I've stayed in backpackers before. Last time I was, uh, I was overseas, staying in the backpackers, and everything was um, blokes, you stay there in that dorm, Girls, you stay as far away in that dorm. So it was yep. male and female. Yeah, fair enough. So, Unless you go there with a partner, you probably yeah. sleep in the same. Yeah, you could probably. You might even be able to get a room where it's just the double bed. Sometimes backpackers have that. Okay. Well, I'm nice. in the I'm in the four bed dorm. How's the orange? Dry as a fucking chip. But um, yeah, orange I didn't bring is dry. A, I didn't bring a drink in, so I got to have a bit of orange to wet the whistle. Thanks yeah. for asking. No worries, mate. Looks good. Smells nice. Mm. Um, so. I'm thinking uh, this young 15-year-old Asian little girl takes me up. Does she work there? She works there. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that seedy bloke behind the bar has done everything he can to get into her pants and um, I reckon he might have. That's so, between them, them. That's between them. So that's that's their little deal, whatever they've got going on. So bang, I'm looking, this this is not going to be good. This this is a shithole of a of a backpack. Is, this yep. is fucked. This is fucked. And everyone's like, you know, they're all young. You can see people. They're twenty, and oh, they're man. full of life. They're full of life. They got, like I said, they're 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 pumped up. They're pumped they're up. They're in the prime of their life, mate. They're in the prime. I'm going down the shitter. I am not in the prime of my life. You're in. Uh, I'm on the Gold Coast to do one gig, and you're uh, in a big dark hole. I am in a massive hole, mm. massive hole, super massive black hole. So he opens the door. And I, I rock in, I've got my mic stand, I've got my country road bag. First thing I see is a young German girl sitting on the bottom bunk. She's about 18 and she's shitting herself. Because? Because Ivan Malat has just <laughs> rocked in and I'm going, what the fuck's going on here? Because I had to say it, any backpacker coming to Australia... With any technology these days, has Googled shit. Yep. They've they've found out about Ivan Milat. They've, they've watched Wolf Creek. They've listened to and case he, files. And they, they listen to the case files and they uh pet they're petrified. So it's always in the back of their mind. Although Am I gonna get killed? Am I gonna get killed? So she's sitting there. There's three other rooms. Who's going to come? Please be a nice girl from uh, best case scenario, Germany, m- maybe maybe uh, somewhere else. Doors come open, and there's you, you with your mic stand. Mic country stand, road which could have looked like a, a baton. It could have. It could have been a gun. It was a weapon. A weapon. A weapon. Yeah. I'm going to get bludgeoned to death, she's thinking. You're twice. You're old enough to be a father, and she's just thought, well... I'm a fucking dead woman. I'm I'm going. I'm I'm going to message my parents, tell them I love them because love them. I'm getting murdered in my sleep. Yep. See you later. Yep. See you later. So, so that's what's going through her mind. So that's what's going through her mind, and all you're no- worried about is the room. You're just thinking, oh shit, not great beds. This girl's worried about her, her life. Her life. Mate. So let's. Yeah. But also, I'm starting. I'm starting to get to a point where, like, this this is just fucking awkward. Like, if I was twenty, I'd be like, "Hey, I'd have no cares." But I'm, no. I'm anxious. I'm because I'm, there's, there's no there's no room. There's nowhere to sit. So, like, she's just sitting and eating. She was eating uh, bloody uh, little rice crackers and fucking avocado or something. And I'm like, "Oh god!" I'm like, "Oh, hi, how are you going?" Well, that's one positive. They live like shit. Yeah, like, they eat nothing. So they eat nothing. So maybe so. you could have shouted her, uh, even just a. Can I buy you some Chinese or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nah, would have oh, been creepy. Nah, it's a bit too creepy. It's a bit yeah. too creepy. So if you, it's the first thing when you walk in, just make eye contact and you just say, "Do you want Can Chinese? I get you some Chinese? Do you, do you like that? Do you like Chinese? Yeah. Do you want some prawn crackers?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So maybe. I had a bit of a chat, and I found out that she was she, she was travelling, um, and she wasn't really understanding. She wasn't the thick Australian accent wasn't going down well. I reckon. That was a tactic. Oh, do just, not, do not make make it as hard as you possibly can for yeah. him to engage yep. in conversation with you. Yeah. Rule number one: tell the big. If you come across a malat <laughs> God. type guy, say you're being going. yourself. Say you're travelling. Yeah. And you're leaving tomorrow. And so she's she better off sleeping air. on a gutter. She said, "I'm going to air. I'm going fruit picking." See, I don't think she was going there. She's throwing me off the scent. Absolutely, she's throwing you off the scent. Um, and then the other thing, what was the other thing she said? Uh, she said, um, oh, there's uh, another tactic. Don't touch me. 
No, uh, there was another tactic. tactic. Uh, what was um, it? What was it? Um, you said something. She was air, avocado, avocado rice, crackers, rice crackers on the bottom bunk. Bottom bunk. Um, pepper spray. Oh, no, no. In, uh, she didn't speak English. Very, she, yeah. a little bit, but very I, hard. She I was, would be surprised if she didn't speak excellent English. And she was pretending not to speak English, just not to give you any connection with her. Yeah, fair call. Fair call. <laughs> see, see, no, 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 fair. Hey, and, and a good good play to her because I'm mm. in there thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, this isn't good. This isn't good, I'm thinking. And then I'm thinking, well, who's on the – there was no one on the other side. I'm thinking, what the fuck's going on here? Now, is that going to be chicks? Is it going to be guys? What's happening? Who's this? And now – I'm on the top bunk. When was the last time you slept in a top bunk? Uh, a couple of times when uh, when you got the kids there. We got a top bunk at home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sometimes they'll come into our bed and you'll try and sleep next door for five minutes and you're like, fuck this. You'll go into their bed, top bunk, lay down. Five minutes in, you'll realise they got out of their bed because they pissed themselves, <laughs> but their piss is soaking into your pyjamas <laughs> and you're just like, fuck it. When in Rome, so you piss yourself, you piss yourself. blame it's it on the kid, family affair. and uh, yeah, you just shit yourself and blame it all on the kid, and yeah, you get up in the morning and hey, babe, the uh, Harry's um, pissed and shit himself. Yep, and she's like, well, why is it in your pants? <laughs> I said, well, Harry's very cunning. Somehow got very it, cunning. Got his, his shit into my pants. Yeah, yep. yeah. I don't, oh, you must have done it when I was asleep. Yep. Anyway, so there we go. So um. And, and now I thought, well, fuck this. I'm not staying in the room. I had about an hour and a half until I had to leave to go set up the set up. I had to go set up the gig, which is insane, which is bizarre. It's madness. It's madness. So I just went down to the pool. I put the glasses on. There are a few chicks sunbaking, and once again, I'm feeling like a predator because you know I've got an erection, and yep. you know I'm uh, I've got the glasses with the um. What? Oh no, I didn't have those glasses. I was thinking of the glasses where you got the eyes open. On the you know, you know when someone's oh, going to sleep, yeah, yeah, I've good. done the wrong thing there. I've totally fucked that up. No, I right. wouldn't want people to think I'm looking. No, the opposite. No, you want no the, the opposite. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so I just put the towel over the head, and then I thought, fuck it. I went in, and it's just one shower. I said, hey, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna go have a shower. I'm, uh, I'm out for the night, and she took a big sigh of relief and said, "Thank, thank, good for lord, that. I will not be here when you get back." Yeah, so because I will, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I will. I'm off to air, which I, what I told you, which I'm not really. I'll be sleeping with one eye open, you big, <laughs> you big red creep. <laughs> Big red creep. <laughs> oh, it's just not a good time. You're so oh, self-conscious. So self-conscious. Okay. I'm thinking, how am I going to relate to this? You know, is there anything? To, oh, in the end, I just thought, fuck, oh, maybe I'll just shit on it. To see, Germans like getting shit on, don't they? Uh, I think. Uh, she didn't look like she'd be right into it. But I thought maybe, you know, those people who sort of come out of the closet. When you, oh, yeah, shit no, on me, I big boy. I think you still, I would, I, without knowing too much about it, I would assume you would still have to ask. Yeah. Yeah, without right. being an expert on the matter, and and maybe that's one of those things that it's probably not. Has anyone ever? It's a big rumor, but it's a fairly strong rumor. You'd want to check it out before you um before you. Did yeah, you'd it. want to ask. Do you like getting shat on? Yeah, yeah. So no, so I did. I didn't do that. I went off. I did the gig. I'm fucking stack. I'm stacking chairs up. I'm doing all this. I'm thinking this is a nightmare. I've got to set it all up. And then people are coming in. Uh, the sound guy's late. He's running late. He's, of course he is. He's, uh, the show's starting at uh, 6.30. He said, oh, I'm not getting there until 20 past six. People are already in there. There's shitty techno music going from someone's phone. He yep. said, all right, get the mic going. Anyway, MC in the gig. Goes well. Show's all good. Three Brisbane comics. All good. Go out for a Bit of Chinese afterwards, actually. Okay, I thought Chinese. maybe maybe I'll get Works some takeaway well. and bring it back to old, um, you know, Anne Frank or whatever her name is uh, on the bottom bunk. So uh, I, I get a call from Katsy. It's about ten thirty now because he said to me, he said to me, "What you got to do, mate? You just got to get shit faced, yep. rocking blind, and just pass out." But I'm thinking, oh, I, I don't want to do that. Like I'll I'll end up, you know, falling off the bunk. I'll end up. Oh, doing something stupid. Piss so, yourself. Piss myself, and that's going to yep. drip on her. And you know, she. Oh, might, yeah, you can't be pissed She might be into it. She might be into it. So no, I think we established she's not. She's not okay. So I get there about ten thirty, and I go, all right, this is it. 
moment of truth. Just get in there, try to get some sleep, get up early and piss off. So I open the door. I'm thinking, what's gonna, what am I going to walk into? And she's still awake on the bottom bunk. I don't think she's moved. I don't think she's moved. She's too she's she's had four, petrified. She's had 400 coffees. She's, she's determined not to sleep until she sees you <laughs> physically check out of that backpackers. Until she she's gonna until she sees you get on that plane, she's not gonna she's, she's not gonna blink. There's police tape up around her bunk. Yeah, just just so uh, she's, she's just holding, got her arm extended with mace, mace the whole time, <laughs> just ready to go. You creep. Ready to yeah, go. Yeah, this is the thing. So she's there. There's some like passed out on the bottom bunk. Yep. Like I've never met him. I don't know who he is. He's, I don't know who he is. He's new to the scene. He's new to the scene. So and the lights on. So I think, oh, what am I going to do? I'm just like, I put me uh, headphones in and just went on the top bunk and st- I put a pillow over my head. Yep. And just listened to a podcast for about half an hour. It's not a great night sleep. It's a shit it? night, and it's a light. The light was literally like right above my head. I go, "This is shit. This is shit." Uh, the podcast finished after about half an hour. I sort of, and you got to do that thing where her head was up the up the end where the ladder was. I think oh, I don't want to climb up where her head is, so I had to jump up on the bunk from the back of the bunk. And any time you move, the bunk would go. You know, when it, it was one of those unsturdy bunks. I'm going, this is, I'd roll over, sort of put the pillow over my head, and it's like, go, this is fucked. Mm. So I ended up, I go, well, we've got to turn the light off. This is bullshit. Like, I, I can't, are they going to turn the light off? I'm thinking, what is happening? Is there here? a lights out time? There must be. It's got to be. There's got to be. So, even oh, backpackers have rules. They've got rules. So, what I'd done in the meantime, I take, because I hopped up with my jeans on, I thought, well, I can't sleep with my fucking jeans. I took my jeans off. I'm in my undies. And now I had to do that thing where you got to hop off a bunk. So, the first thing she sees is my legs, my little fucking pecker in me undies. Well, if I'd have known I was staying at a backpackers, I would have taken some sort of pajamas, whether it be. I don't like them. I get too hot. Oh, I'm not talking like a fucking onesie, like, <laughs> like footy shorts or something. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, was, yeah, mate. What do you think, picturing like a big Pokemon fucking onesie or something? Yeah, maybe something like that. I'm just like saying that, at least be... footy shorts. Yeah, and, maybe uh, that was an idea. And a T-shirt and a, a, yeah, loose, okay. a loose-fitting T-shirt. Okay, that's respectable. That's yeah. respectable. Anyway, I hopped down. I said, oh, I'm just going to go turn the light. And now, now I'm acting like um, she's, you know, literally special needs. Like a I'm mime. Like, like a mime. I'm like, I'll go turn... The light off. Yep. And uh, she goes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, did, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, me, oh, me no, need to no, see no. you. Me no, see no, you. no, dark, she's you. Tr- she's Chinese me now. Me not so. trust <laughs> you in dark. <laughs> yeah, her accent's changed. She's All of a sudden, she's talking Thai. <laughs> and I go, what is going on here? So turn the light off. In bed, I go, this is good. I can get to sleep. I don't know where old fuckwit is on the top bunk over the other side. But uh, 10 minutes later, I'm just about to doze off. Hey, what the fuck's going on? You know, some uh, like Pommy's Pommy bloke. So I just spat all over. The fucking party liaison. Pommy time. blokes come in, bloody uh, Van Wilder. Yeah, um, and he goes, "Hey, I'm gonna, hey," and I go, "G'day, mate. How are you?" He goes, "Hey, g'day, bro. What's going on?" And he goes, "Mate," he's talking to his mate on the bottom. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna smash that bloke. I'm gonna snot him. He's obviously gotten a blue down at the yeah, bar yep, or yep, something yep. like that. I'm thinking, oh, Jesus Christ. So for 15 minutes, he's telling us how he's Mike Tyson. He's going to go smash this bloke. I'm like, oh, my God, what is going on? Now it's about quarter to 12. I think this is shit ass. He ends up going back out there. Old mate on the other one, he uh, he goes to sleep. I said, oh, fellas, uh, yeah, I'll um, I'll go turn that light off again. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 no worries, no worries. Oh, no, you turn, turn it off. On. Get to sleep. Wake up at about six in the morning, go, perfect. That's not bad. That's all right. Didn't drink, feeling good, feeling good. Go to hop off, do the jump off the um off the bunk. Someone's murdered the German chick. She's dead. She's well, gone. There's blood everywhere. I'm thinking I'm in trouble here. I didn't hear anything. And you've you've got blood all over your hands. I've got blood all over my hands. It's <laughs> everywhere. Her, it's I've up the wall. In sleep. My undies have got blood all over them. My body's got blood all over them. I'm thinking, shit, yep. geez, I knew I slept heavily, but uh, you think you'd remember that, maybe wake up. 
Yeah. Ah, well. That's... The, the, the mic stand's got blood all over it. Ah, it's well, fucking it's a, crazy. It's a good but... story for the pod. Yeah, so nah, what I did... well, obviously that didn't happen. No, nah, that didn't happen. She's still alive. and uh, But as I hopped off, I sort of rolled the ankle. You know, I've just oh. gone, oh, fuck this. I had a shower, washed all the blood off, and... Uh, Oh yeah, she she was doing the. I think she was awake, but she was doing the face the wall kind of thing and, yeah. and pretend to be asleep. Oh, but if you had a yeah, like a perfect movie scene, she looks asleep. You go over the other side, and she's just staring at the wall, eyes, eyes wide open, just shaking in her boots, shaking in her boots. He's but, up again, but yeah, he's, he's here. The predator, the predator's awake. Ivan again. Milat the second is awake. Oh mate, and I've lots of walk in the park compared to <laughs> compared to you in the top bunk. <laughs> so I grab my shit, I get a cab to the airport, I spend about four hours at the fucking airport just waiting for me flight. I get back to Melbourne and uh Bob's your uncle, mate. We're done. We're done. The uh We are done. World's shittest comedy tour has come <laughs> to an end. Thank the Lord. Well, but at the end of the day, when you take out all your expenses and you sit home and you You've got your seven bucks fifty in your in your hand. It's uh, certainly makes it all worth. Oh, it does make it all worth. And the boys were saying they were wondering how much the Baronia boys were wondering how much I was going to get paid for this. Um, he did give me a number, but I've got to send him the the invoices for the taxis and the Ubers. So I don't think you're getting that back. Well, let's let's see how we go, and I'll keep you posted. So uh, that that was the uh, shittest comedy tour in history. And uh, what do you? What else you got, Tommy? Well, well, one quick story. Oh, as you know, I've got a memory like a sieve. Did I ever tell the story about when me and my mates went and stayed at the backpackers in Torquay? We've t- I've told that story, haven't I? I don't think so. Surely I've told this story. Uh, give us a little uh, blurb. blurb. Where it work? where we went and we left. I left my phone in the. I haven't told this story. I don't think this isn't ringing a bell, Tom. You've told well, a few stories on here and sixty-five in. I reckon we've got a newie that I'd, I haven't heard of. Well, this is a little doozy. This is back in me single days. We're we're all uh, up in Melbourne. It's summer. It's great. We got fuck all commitments. There's no footy on the weekend, so four of us has gone. You know what? Let's do something different. We're all we all haven't got much cash. Yeah. Um, it's we're all probably early twenties, maybe twenty three. 24, you said, you know what? Let's go down, spend the night in Torquay, oh, start the backpackers in Torquay. Right. So this is 20 years ago. Let's, Mate, this is let's go start the backpackers in Torquay. It'll co- we looked it up. It was about, it was like 15 bucks a night. We Mate. said, we said let's, and let's just go to the pub, hit the piss, get up next morning, go down the beach, and then drive home. <laughs> just a great that's for you, Crummy. Saturday night. Sorry, that was Crummy uh, who came on the Thursday night. He yep. was, I saw him in Seymour. He came to the gig, came to our shows on Thursday. Yeah, he yep. said, uh, you're not burping in the mics enough. Oh, if you I want miss burps it. in the mic, fuck, I always do them off to the side. But if you want, uh, <laughs> no, he wants them. If you want burps he in wants the mic. Them. So they're Jesus. back on, Crummy. Burps are back on. Okay. Um, anyway, so Sorry. we've gotten this shitty car. I think I was driving this little absolute piece of shit Daewoo thing. We've driven down. Checked into the backpackers. Uh, it was it was about it was about. I reckon we got down there about four in the arvo. No, probably about three in the arvo on a Saturday. And that this there was a whole wall of this backpackers. It was one room. Oh. So, so I think it was about maybe twenty six to thirty beds. Bunk, but uh, beds like a or, hall or, or something. Yeah, it was just this huge room at this backpackers down Torquay, and every bed had a number, yeah. and every number had a had a uh, a locker. Yep. So, so number one, you had number one locker. Yeah, that you works, had your little that works, it's a good system. It? Good system. It's a good system. Because if number one it was number three. Number eight, it'd throw everyone off. Yeah, You'd have to remember fucked. two numbers. Yeah, so it's not good. It just made sense for bed number one to, to align with locker number one. Anyway, so this is back in the days. Everyone sort of had their first mobile phone. And Ooh. I had my first phone and she was Nokia a Nokia or doozy. something? Yeah, she was a big Nokia. It was even before the first flip. It was just a big fucking house brick with buttons on it. It's great. It's just a great. You could, you could, you could, you could knock out a German backpacker. Oh, hundred percent. You could, fucking you oh. could throw this thing off a fucking building, off a twenty-story building. It would hit the ground, bounce, wouldn't bounce, damage the ground, okay. no damage <laughs> to the phone. You, you, these and cockroaches just cannot cannot destroy. Cannot them. kill them. Anyway, so 
So we were all excited straight away. We've just chucked all our shit. We, well, we've had a no, – probably no need to shower down there. It was only about a one-hour drive, so it wasn't exactly a huge trip. So <laughs> well, let's we, freshen up, boys. Let's freshen up after that, <laughs> that hell trip. Oh, it's just good to, good to finally be here. Oh, it's good to have some running water, isn't it, guys, after so, the uh, one hour we've yeah. spent in the old day was. So, so I think we've just chucked all our shit in the, in the lockers. And this is back in the days. So your phones were – you just didn't get phone calls. No. No – no, no, well, one, no one else had them. You the weren't fu- taking photos. You weren't Googling anything. You weren't taking cock shots. Because remember, no, remember you'd, you'd buy a $50 SIM card SIM or card. credit. Your credit. It was all back credit. It was all text back then. You'd buy, you'd buy a $50 phone card. You'd ring, ring a mate and say, uh, I'll meet you at the footy. Let's meet down, um, down the corner hotel first, or I'll catch you later. And I'll go, you have 37 cents left. It was like, <laughs> like it was that fucking expensive to make a phone call? Oh, mate. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I don't, so, so anyway, so no one's making phone calls. Nah. So this is back in the day. So we all just left our phones in the, um, yeah. in the lockers, gone to the pub, happy days. We're at the pub, fucking boozing all, all day, all day, on the cans, Having a great time. I reckon it might have been one, maybe three o'clock finish. Whatever time it finished, we were pissed as farts. Even went and got some pizza, went right. and ate it down the beach, oh, got home. You guys are living the dream. Just having a great time. Probably tried to pick up every girl in the joint. You would have. No. Hundred percent rejection rate. Yeah. So we're all hundred. We're all fucking. Like, couldn't have given two fucks. Yeah. Got back to the ho. But got got back to the backpackers, and. And there was a big volleyball court. It was a, luckily it was a balmy night. It was yeah. a balmy night. Beautiful Neil, night. Neil Balm. Neil Balm. It was Neil Balm. And um, <laughs> there was and everyone, everyone is playing volleyball. They're not playing volleyball at all. They're, they're fucking no. They're, they're not. They're, there's a big orgy on the volleyball court. And we're like, <laughs> holy shit, guys! Can you get this out of the way? This is unbelievable. Got to rotate. So um, so you know, everyone's out in their uh, we've got their dunas and pillows. Oh, everyone's sleeping on. The, the fucking volleyball, volleyball court. court. Yeah, right. And we, do, and we are stumbling in. We are <laughs> tripping over we are people. <laughs> Polaxed. And um and we've just stumbled in and, and they've heard us coming. And one bloke, I remember he was an Irish bloke, he stood up and he goes, Hoy. That's why it wasn't Keep Irish. It. He goes, Hoy. <laughs> no, that wasn't. Well, are you staying in there, mate? Are you staying in there? And I said, and I was like, Yeah. And he goes, Who's in locker number seven? Who the fuck? <laughs> He's in locker number seven. And we've all fucking reached into our pockets. And I've pulled out my key for my locker, and there it was, a big number fucking seven. bit of wood hanging off it oh, with number yeah. Seven, yeah. seven written on it. And I, and, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck me swinging. What have I done? And I said, what's, I said, what's, what what's wrong, with the problem, goes, you're sir. a fucking disrespectful fuck. Yeah, fucking luck has been ringing all fucking night, you fuckwit. And, um, you and got I, a call. No, but not only did I have a call, I got so few calls back then that I set it on this fucking thing that, <laughs> so, so just say I, someone rang me and I didn't answer. Yeah. And they left a message. It would ring me every two minutes, every two minutes. Until, <laughs> until I answered and checked the message. And it was the, I remember the ring, it was, or, it was, so, and it would go for a minute. I remember that ring. So, I remember and, and it would it. stop. So these poor bastards, which and this thing was like a, like a, it was unbelievable how, how no, it was like a size of a brick. So fair enough, but it was so fucking loud, and so it had. It must have just been, and, and it was on vibrate. So oh, it must have been brrr. in this tin locker <laughs> going. And no one could sleep in, and um, and fuck, so everyone was out four, four fucking four a.m. Everyone was out on the. No one could sleep, so we've gone. Ah, oh, fuck, sorry guys. So we've gone straight to fuck. We've just passed out. Yeah, yeah. Could, could just couldn't have given two shits. And fuck, icing on the cake. My mate Connie, you've met Connie. Yeah, Connie. Just I know Connie. A bloke that just a funny fucking bloke that couldn't give two shits. Yeah. So. They're about, I think pretty much everyone in the joint was getting a bus, getting on a bus at 6 a.m. the next day oh, for a no. tour of the Great Ocean Road. Oh, great. So they're all fucking, 
They've had a rough night's sleep. They're, they're all... Keep it there. Yeah. So he's fucking... So, so they're all getting ready. And he, he's just popped his head up for his pillow and goes, Guys, we're trying to sleep here. Can we show some respect? <laughs> <laughs> and the dirty looks. Oh. Thank fuck they all got on this bus because we could have a sleep in and then... Oh, got up oh mate. That we were so hated. Oh, they mate. They hated But surely, gun. couldn't they uh, go on to reception or something and got a spare key or something? Oh, like, look, how dumb know. are they? I don't know, pretty dumb. But yeah. they, well, I'm sure they would have tried. They yeah, tried maybe to they get did try. This, yep, uh, yep, yep. Yeah, and, no, uh, no cool. backpacker living, tough. There you uh, go, that's tough. tough stuff. Well, I've gone from, uh, I went from backpackers last week to obviously doing the shows this week, and Kristen, yeah. she gave me a little bloody surprise. Okay. She, uh, for my birthday, she's booked three nights at Crown Metropole. Holy shit. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. So I've gone from, you know, sleeping above a, a, a German backpacker to bloody wheeling and whining and dining at Crown Metropole. And you know what? If there's people, there's fucking millionaire, millionaires there. Millionaires there is. There, yep. People with a lot of money. And they only know... One way. Crown Metropole. Yeah. Every night they are living the lap of luxury. And oh. you know what? They don't appreciate it because you've you've got bed bugs. You've yep. been accused of being a predator. You've bloody yeah. You, you've you've lived in the shit, shit of mate. a shit backpacker. For you, you're getting more enjoyment out of the metropole than those those bloody assholes. That's it. So Friday, so, Chris, good on you. Thanks, mate. So Kristen's working Friday, so she doesn't finish till nine thirty. So um, I, I go to check in. I got to check in. Yep. I had the day off. I, I thought oh, I was on a bit of a high from the Thursday. The show's all right. It's all good. It's coming good. It's coming good. It's coming good. And uh, so I, I, I get in there about uh, three o'clock. Three o'clock. I aim for three. Check ins at two. I said I'll miss. I'll miss the rush. I'll get in there at three. So bit of a lineup. It's like the bloody bank where you got all the tellers and the little lines where it snakes through. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So uh, and they got a heap of reception receptionists there. So it's all good. So I say. Uh, uh, they go, yes, next, sir. And I, I rock up. And I, I'm there with my country road bag. No mic stand. No. I said, oh, I'm here to check in. And they go, okay, who's the booking under? And, and Chris Everyone else would have had a country road bag. Oh, there. mate, they had uh, they had 10. They, yeah. they, oh, I did notice a bit of Louis Vuitton sort of those uh, bags, the, the suitcases. I noticed the Gucci glasses and uh, a lot of bloody few lips that have been, look like they just lost a fight. But um, stung. Yeah, because it's... It's just uh, like all of a sudden you're at the backpackers. People are looking at you with a country road bag like your la da Yeah. All of a sudden you go to the Metropole and they're looking down on you. Looking That's down at me. Crazy uh, world. You know, I've rocked up in the Holden Commodore, which, you know, there's Beamers and Mercs and all that, getting the valet park. I would have parked that Metropole. around the corner. Yeah, I, yeah, I ended up just torching it. I yep. left it in Crown Car Park and just uh, torched the cool. fucking thing. So it's cool. good. So I turn up and go, all right, yep, the booking is under Kristen Scott. And they go, boop, 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 boop. Yep. Um, okay, mate. Um, we just need, yeah, you got any ID? And I said, oh, yeah, here's, here's my ID. And they go, ah, oh, um, I've got a bit of a problem here. Um, you're uh, on the sex offenders list. I'm on the, <laughs> we, we, we've heard from, from the cops from last week. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you, you, uh, you're not good. There's a travel ban on you. The cops are looking for you. Okay. No, no. So, well, yes, but, um, Mate, you can't check into Crown because the booking's under Kristen's name. I said, "Well, that's that's my fiance. It was a birthday present. Um, it just let me in." I said, "No, we can't. I'll check with my supervisor." I said, "Well, no, no, you can't. You can't check in. Your looks doing you no favors, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> my head. Your head's doing you no favors. Oh, mate. I just think they might think that you just thought, fuck it." And just have a crack. check in, and some lovely lady who's away for work uh, is spending a couple of days in Melbourne for I, work. I, maybe spoke, from I Sydney. spoke to her last night at the casino or something, and yeah. I just got her room number. You've got her, nu- yeah. Although she hasn't checked in yet, although so that doesn't I, I, make sense. Yeah, that's true. Plus, I showed her the email. I showed the guy the yeah, email. Okay. So yeah, that's just the only thing could be your head. Maybe it is my head. Or maybe it is a rule. Maybe maybe, maybe it is a rule. So yep. check let's with the, super, the check with the, the supervisor. Yep. Um, Cops ended up coming and said, no, nah, we're definitely looking for him. He yep. was on the Gold Coast the last one. week. That's him. They're clubbing That's him. Down the but, front. Uh, 
No, so then then what I had to, I had to ring Kristen and, and I said, oh, babe, they won't let me in because your name, you made the booking. They won't let me in. It goes, ah, oh, shit. So what she had to do, she had to get on booking.com, go back into it and then try and change the booking. So I'm on the booking as well. So I go sit on the couch, wait for her to do that. She's at work, you know, she's, she's. You know, she's saving a baby. She's incubating a baby now. She's she just while while the that's all happening. She's on the yeah. on the website trying to put my name on this bloody that's the booking. Last thing she needs to. She be doesn't doing. need it. She doesn't need it. So forty five minutes later, get the call. We're good to go. So ah, oh, bang, get it. Got in there. All good. But just a bit of a bit of a little pain that we we didn't really need. But um, anyway, the Saturday night just just another little quick one. Uh, Saturday night. Show goes well. Bit of a quieter show, but we go out yep. afterwards. Um, Kristen's mum's out. Uh, her, uh, stepdad's out. We've got friends. We, we're we staying at Crown Metropole. Let's make the most of this. We're bloody, we're buzzing here. We're, we're buzzing. The, we're buzzing. We're in the hub. We go down and Crown is pumping. So we go to a few of these, uh, you know, sports bars. We get on the piss. Things are going well. I'm taking a little easy because I was sort of, I didn't start drinking until after the show. So yep. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Kristen is fine though. She's having a ball. She's letting the hair down. She doesn't she's, mind letting the hair down. She which loves letting Good the on it because she's got a stressful job. Stressful job and, and she's she's sort of um what is it like if we open a bottle of wine she'll have a one glass or take her 45 minutes yep. to drink it because you know she'll just take it easy but then yep. if you get her out and she's going like she i think she got blind at uh your your when um, i had a few people over for grand few people final grand day, final yeah, day maybe really, yeah tied really one on that tied day. one on she was you know she was bloody throwing your kids around we ended up and, giving her uh so she could drink on the way home. One of my kids' big sippy bottles. Sippy bottles. I think we got free when we took him to see a, a movie. That yeah, it, and, and had it, so she could drink wine out of the. Yeah, she might have so, a problem actually. Yeah, I think she but does. Anyway, I think she does. But uh, anyway, so she's fine, and it gets to about uh, it gets to about three o'clock, and she she's going downhill a bit. She's going downhill. So I said, let's look after her and wave goodbye to the friends. Thanks yep. so much for coming. Great to see you. Some had to get an Uber. Some were staying at Crown. See you later. We'll chat soon. I, I'm sort of walking Kristen through the just said, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. I said, oh, we'll get we'll get room service when we get up there. And I'm thinking that's not gonna happen. No. She head's gonna hit the pillow and she will be out like yep. a German backpacker. Yep. So anyway, get up there and you've got a little she she gets ready for bed, but she goes, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I want to eat something. I want to eat food. something. Yeah, give me food. Ah. And you get a little iPad next to the bed. You can just click through and you go, oh, right, room service. And I'm thinking, I don't know how far she's getting with this. Like yep. She can't even really – she doesn't even know who she is anymore. Yep. So how is she going to go ordering this food? Anyway, I'm watching TV, 3 o'clock in the morning. She's uh, – lights out. Lights out, iPad laying on her stomach or, or on, the, on, the, on the bed. And uh, I go, all right, that's, that's her. I think we – I don't think she ordered it. I think we're good. I say there's no food cone. No. Well, well, 20 minutes later. Oh. Uh, like, bloke's got a massive tray and goes, uh, butter chicken? <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh yeah. you're fucking kidding me. That's great news, isn't it? Wow. Oh, is there anything tired, better? But she's out to it. So she's not waking up. Mate, I would have eaten it and discarded everything so she didn't know it. Besides oh, your Oh mate, she bought it in. Oh well I bought it in. I bought it in. I thought, well, I, I wasn't hungry. So I'm like, I'm not eating that. So I just sat it on the couch and the butter chicken went cold. And, oh mate. And I'm, sorry, I'm mate. Feeling like butter chicken now. No, it was bloody three thirty in the morning, mate. Uh, I would have woken up with bloody Crook All guts. right. Well, well, mate, we are. Yep, yep, yep. We bloody. You got to um, duck off, don't you? We got, we got to, oh no, Tam texts me. She's not going to yoga tonight. Oh, okay. Well, it's kids are going crazy. Vomit and spew all over the vinyl floor. Yeah, That's no, why kids are going crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so, um, all right. We, is that? Do you, you got anything else? You got anything else? No, no. But when you, didn't you say you had some oh, fuck checking or something? Some Maybe we'll checking. just fly yeah, through that. Yeah, we'll fly through this and then we'll. Well, we've gone over an hour anyway, so that ought to, the, the, the guys up in uh, bloody sheep rooters will be happy with this. Yeah, the boys up, boys up north. I've rooted the sheep. All right, so here we go. Let me just, because this is from, did I mention the fisherman's friends, how they got their name? Did I? No, we discussed it. We discussed it. Yeah, so big D's. And I thought it was because they eat fish. So they need that to get rid of the scent of fish. That's what you did think, and you also 
I've spoken about other stuff, how people oh, yeah. have that. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I must admit, I think our crowd are into that. The listeners, yeah, are into that kind of stuff. And, and if, if they're not, not uh, it's plenty of other podcasts. Did you say there was there. a there was a there was a, list, a listener you you spoke to afterwards, and she might have had her daughter there or something? Yeah, that was bizarre. She, uh, yeah, lovely. This was on the Sunday, wasn't it? On the Sunday, lovely yeah. lady brought her real pretty. I assume it was her daughter along, and um. <laughs> And I oh, had had you. Uh, thanks for coming. Had you find out? I was through the uh, podcast. I was like, jeepers, creepers. We are, we are, we are. We're for everyone. We and I think we're Just building a, a community. It was great to see. Oh, so and so. This is their big D. And I, I put a photo of Big D with his socks, the Vuco socks, on the uh, Instagram. Yep. And uh, mate, uh, you know, get, get it's probably our most liked post. Everyone loves Big D. Everyone wanted to know what Big D Fuck looked Jacob. like. Yep. So he's uh, he, he's ripping. He's, he's ripping. A good man. And here it is. This is the fisherman's friends. We didn't is this get from to Big D. This is Big D. And okay. this is this, this is, is in his, his own um, words. This is his own this words. Is a text mate. message. This is a text message. He's not just cutting and pasting anymore, mate. He's, so I think we've both learned a bit. I've I'm not going to hang shit on anymore. He's going to go easy on the cut and paste. I think it's mutual. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's a bit and of you give found and take. respect. It's like a relationship. Yep. Where it's like, okay, yeah, maybe I'll give you a head job if you. Clean the dishes. Wash the dishes. Sort of? Uh, me and Big D. <laughs> <laughs> no, not your relationship, <laughs> but um, no. how are the dishes, D? Um, anyway, sorry, it's got weird. All right, Fisherman's Friend were originally developed by a young pharmacist called James Lofthouse in 1865 to relieve various respiratory problems suffered by fishermen working in the extreme conditions of the Icelandic deep-sea fishing grounds. Originally? Wow. Originally developed as an extremely strong liquid remedy containing menthol and eucalyptus oil. Lothhouse mm. made this liquid into small lozenges, which were easy to transport and to manufacture. According to the manufacturer, the fishermen soon began to refer to the lozenges, lozenges as their friends, hence the name. I wonder if uh, I wonder if they've changed at all, or if they're still in that original form. Because because I only have the mild ones. If you have the uh, the extreme ones, they really blow your they, fucking head off. Yeah, they blow. They blow. Really your clean off, the mate. sinuses. They do. <sighs> Boy, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. So and yeah, hey, that's, yeah. Uh, that's interesting. A big D. No, nah, that's very good. That's very good. We've also got uh, the drug test while driving, which is... If I'm on my ADHD uh, medication. So this is going to be good for you, Timmy. Yep. It does not detect the presence of prescription drugs or common over-the-counter medications, such as cold and flu tablets, sinus medication, e.g. Sudafed, asthma, or ADHD medication. Well, that's good. That is good. That is. So how be, are uh, the tablets going? Yeah, you know, they seem to be. I seem to be a little clearer. I seem to be. Okay, it's not. Are you taking them at the same time every day? Yeah, I'm now taking them for breakfast. Uh, okay, nice. Uh, breakfast with, with the champions. Meal. Uh, and yeah, look, look, there is a slight difference. It's not, but it was all we. It was always going to take a while to um get the levels right. I'm not sure if I might pop two one day and see how I go. Okay, just to. They didn't advise that, but I'll um. Oh, well, some, yeah. yeah, it's my body. Yeah, my body. Your body, your choice. My choice. Yeah. Um, in some states, it is a legal requirement for individuals in AD, with ADHD to declare the disorder to the Department of Transport. In WA, you are sent a letter once a year and you have to take your G, GP who signs of you. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang, hang on, fuck you. Maybe this is where we're getting the problem if he doesn't cut and paste. Hang on. In WA, you are sent a letter once a year that you have to take to your GP who signs so you can continue to be fit to drive. So he's got you got to, you got to check in. So to yeah, make sure yeah, you're yeah, fit yeah, to yeah. drive. Yeah. Yep. So that's um so that's that, mate. That's okay, that. Okay, so yeah. Well that's uh pop away. Well no, never drive live away. In, never live in WA. No, <laughs> that rhymes. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. So, hey, Big D, thanks very much for yeah, that, mate. Yeah, good on you, Big D. Thanks for coming out. Thanks to everyone who came out. And um, got a real little community building here. Yeah. Um, so tell your friends. Tell your tell friends your about friends. the podcast. Tell your friends. I'm I'm going to get on. I'm going to get on Instagram. So yeah, that's that, a little journey we're going to go through. Evan's going to hook up an Instagram for me. Yeah, because we. You know, we we recorded on Sunday and we got some great stuff. The Barona boys were great 
That's video ones. recorded. That's video yeah, recorded. Yeah, we took some yeah. cameras. We got it professionally recorded, recorded at our Sunday shows. Yeah, so we'll cut up little clips and we'll put that on the Instagram and that, but uh, you, you obviously don't have it. So. No, no. What we're thinking is, for you, Tommy, let's get on the Instagram and uh, we'll build that, but also uh, get on the Good Banter Instagram. It's Good Banter Podcast. Uh, I haven't checked the email in a while, but really good banter at gmail.com. YouTube, mate, oh, we, we met our 100th and first YouTube, uh, oh, Jono, Jono Simmons, if, if I, I think I'm right. We got a photo with him. Yep. He's our 100 first he was YouTube 100. subscriber. Good on you, Jono. Thank and, uh, you, Jono. We're up to 104 now, so things are Deep just as we are, right? they are cooking. They are cooking. And, and uh, yeah, because we got some big. Like, no, I know Nick. I, I uh, got the Friday call up. I played footy on the weekend. Oh, I'm God, out of retirement man. for the seventeenth time. Oh. We're going to talk about it today. Won't be able to find out how I went. Had a run around in the Magoos on Anzac Day for the Caulfield Bears. Yep. Evan came down and watched. Tried oh, to do yeah. something. Tried to watch because I was meant to be hosting a luncheon. Yeah. The past players luncheon. That. And then they asked me to play. I rang the president. I said, "What do you want to do? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to host the luncheon, or do I, or do I play in the twos? They're at the they at the, exactly the same time." And he said, "I reckon we. I reckon you can do them both at the same you, time." And so do. hang around, find out how that went. Oh, yeah, a, yeah. I was there. I was there. It was. Uh, it was quite. It was quite it, funny. It was hard to watch. It was hard, it was to, hard watch to watch the football or the gig. I'm not too the, sure. It was a. It might have been both. So yeah, hang around hang next around. week. Tommy's still got to reinvent the Eng- English language. I question if Whether I am the only ever person to play footy and try and host a luncheon at halftime of the footy. Mate, it's, I've never seen it until the weekend, if uh, anyone else has seen it. If anyone's thinking about doing it, don't. may I suggest <laughs> you don't. Find out <laughs> next week. It's a fucking shit show. Yeah, tell your friends about it. Subscribe to Apple Podcasts. Subscribe to Spotify. Get on the YouTube. Tell your friends about the podcast. And uh, thanks so much to thanks everyone. For listening. Everyone we met over uh, during the shows. Uh, that's episode sixty-five. Uh, in, went, went the in the bag. Can. Went for an extra eleven minutes for all you boys. Uh, up, up fucking the, sheep. Fucking sheep up there. So uh, you won't know what to do with yourselves. Uh, thanks for listening. That's another episode of. Good banter. Good banter. That's a good banter.